With the power of Tandem HR, you are in the fast lane on Main Street with Get Down to Business with Shalom Klein, the show for business and jobs. Now, the champion of networking, the advocate of jobs, the guru of business, your host, Shalom Klein. Each year on June 29th, it is National Camera Day. This day celebrates photographs, the camera and its invention. Today, the camera is an irreplaceable tool used to record and replicate memories, events, and people and places. Before the invention of the camera, the only resource to document a vision was a painting. Is there are not too many people that who can perfectly replicate something into a painting. The power of a camera provided many with a simple, inexpensive, and fast solution. It was made popular by a man named George Eastman, also named the father of photography. While he didn't invent the camera, he did invent many additions that improved the use, ease, and production of a camera, making it widely available to homes around the world. To celebrate National Camera Day, go find something or someone who you enjoy, snap a picture, and cherish the memory. We are all about small business, jobs, and entrepreneurship. And uh, the story of the camera is certainly a story about entrepreneurship and business. We talk a lot about business here. You are on with Get Down to Business, and I'm your host, Shalom Klein. Remember, you can always download podcasts from Get Down to Business on my website at ShalomKlein.com. And while you are there, don't forget to follow me on Twitter at Shalom Klein. Get Down to Business is powered by Tandem HR, your solution center. You can find them at tandemhr.com or call 630-928-0510. You can also email them simplify at tandemhr.com. This week, we will be joined by entrepreneur Adam Fridman, Alan Gerstner, talking about business travel, Tandem HR, and State Representative Lou Lang. We've got a lot to talk to you today about business and entrepreneurship. And when we started the show, we talked about an invention, the invention that we've all come and gotten used to the camera. And uh, a friend of mine who's joining us on the show today certainly knows a thing or two about innovation and inventions and entrepreneurship. And I'm just thrilled to have Adam Friedman here on the Get Down to Business radio show. Adam, thanks for joining us. Oh, thank you, Shul, for having me. I love the show. Okay. Uh, you have embodied the world of, of entrepreneurship, not only in coming up with ideas and turning them into a reality yourself, but arguably more important by enabling other entrepreneurs to help make their ideas a reality and get the word out about their ideas and networking, connecting people. Tell us about how you got into this world of entrepreneurship and what crazy idea got into your mind that you decided not just to take a, a, a regular job like most other folks out there. Thank you for the warm introduction, Shalom. Well, I started out in corporate finance, was an investment banker. And uh, about four years after starting the career, I realized, as well as that world, that I may not be the right fit. I wasn't happy with a nine to five, and I was passionate about creating. I began my entrepreneurship uh, route about 10 years ago. And about two years ago, specifically, I was at a networking event, and I ran into a litigation attorney who was there to give free advice. And I thought it was a shocking revelation that a gentleman of that stature with a big firm was there to give free advice. And the thought occurred, how many people are looking for free advice? How many entrepreneurs and business owners are looking for that support, that resource? On the flip side, well, not everybody, how many advisors, how many experts are looking to share that free advice? So let's get I right will. into it. I mean, it, it's, it's about, as you said, people providing advice, helping people that have ideas, you started a thing called Meet Advisors. Tell us about how that can help some of the entrepreneurs that might be listening to uh, get down to business. Absolutely. Forbes coined this to Yelp for entrepreneurs. Very simply, pick an advisor you like, ask a question, leave a review. It's, it's brilliant. It's absolutely brilliant. These are people that have advice to share and people, frankly, that need the advice. We all know that when starting a business, there's no one recipe for success. It requires a lot of hard work and even two uh, you know, small businesses that seemingly look very similar, they actually are very different and it requires the right, as I always say, the right recipe. And uh, we need advice. It's, it's networking. It's bringing people together to do business together. But it's also about the information and the education. So meet advisors. I've used it. I've offered my advice to people and I've asked people for advice. And the, the caliber of the people involved, is, it's, it's fantastic. So Adam, kudos and congratulations to you for building such thing. And you, of course, you didn't stop with, with meet advisors. You've been involved in so many businesses. Tell us about Mably. 
Absolutely. Manly, M-A-B-B-L-Y dot com is a digital marketing agency with a focus on demystifying digital. Uh, over the years, I've been a client, a customer for different digital marketing services for web design, SEO, and PR. And I realized there were a lot of black boxes. There were a lot of professionals that would prevent from sharing the knowledge that we as a customer need and websites have become increasingly important for our business. It is an asset that we continue to nurture over the years. And I launched Manly to do just that, demystify digital marketing, share what we know, and when clients feel that we could be a great partner for them, we're ready to help. That's awesome. Again, another way of being so actively involved in the business community and uh, such a great entrepreneurial idea. So, Adam, to our listeners that are out there, young professionals, let's go with that demographic first. Somebody that has an idea, what advice can you share with them to help turn their idea into a reality? Well, I would say before you're ready to turn it into reality, I think we need a checks and balances process. I'm one very passionate. I come up with an idea, I get married to it, it becomes my baby, and I'm ready to charge. I think the first step is to make sure and validate it with those that have been there and done that. Learn, be ready to be flexible, to pivot before you embark on the journey. It is an expensive and resource-intensive journey. So, of course, get advice, whether it's meet advisors or someone you know, networking events, some of our shared spaces incubators. There's a lot of support organizations in Chicago now that are willing to help. It's uh, There's no question. There, there's so many resources that are out there, and people need to take advantage of the resources like in 1871. In fact, we just talked about it uh, last week on the show. We talked about how, how businesses both should take advantage of resources like that, as well as you also have to be very cautious about not relying on too many resources like that because they can be, a, be they can become a crutch and a tool. And, and at some point, you've, you've got to break away from that. And that's, I think, really what what the beauty of, of what Meet Advisors and Mably and so many of the uh, organizations that you've been involved in getting started has done. You've really enabled people to both lean on advice, but also pick up on their own and and uh, live that idea and turn it into a reality. But seeking help isn't a, uh, it's not a weakness. It's, I, I believe it's probably one of the biggest strengths. Wouldn't you agree? Absolutely. And the way we see it, learn from success to minimize your mistakes. As a startup, as an entrepreneur, you can't afford to make a lot of mistakes. The further, the further you can get in the process, the better off you are, the better the chances for success. And Adam, can you share uh, some of, uh, maybe without names or with names, if you have their permission, uh, some of the stories of success uh, from people that you've seen that have that have leaned on advice through through Meet Advisors, as an example? What what uh, success stories can we share with uh, the listeners of Get Down to Business? Absolutely. In Naperville, Illinois, there's a company called Commercial Lending X that focuses on commercial lending. Um, smaller company that has been growing very fast over the last five years. They ran into a legal question, and they weren't re- yet ready to spend the money on the support, on hiring an attorney. There was a agreement dispute item. They reached out to an attorney, asked a question, received an answer within 24 hours, which helped to pivot their agreement with the client, preserving or minimizing their future risk of getting paid. Subsequently, they hired the attorney and they entered into a relationship. But what was amazing is how quickly they received the response, how quickly they were able to pivot and get to what's next. It's fantastic. There's nothing quite like it. There's no other resource quite like this. And obviously, I'm a big fan. I know you are as well, Adam, of networking in the real world. But sometimes this, uh, we, we need to embrace the, the tools that technology has to offer and uh, lean and meet advisors as, uh, as the name of your, of your organization and business uh, represents, which is fantastic. So, and uh, Shalom, maybe one more quick example sure. that I think is real critical. I've seen over the last couple of years multiple ideas where someone would reach out to an advisor, a VC, or an investor to share their idea and receive negative feedback to say this is not an idea that's timely or that makes sense. Oh my gosh, that's so important. That's why, yeah, yeah, I, I think that is critical where they can move on to their next idea or they can do something else. They're preventing from years of potential investment from family and friends and more importantly, their life 
Absolutely. Years of, years of work. Adam, that's so important, and I'd love it if you can actually uh, put us in touch with some of those uh, success stories. We'd love to feature them on uh, the Get Down to Business radio show. Adam, we've got just about 30 seconds remaining in this segment. Can you tell us how people can get in touch with you and how people can learn more about Meet Advisors and Mably? Absolutely. Meet Advisors, M-E-E-T, advisors.com, and Mably. M-A-B-B-L-Y.com. And Shalom, thank you very much for the opportunity to share what I did. Absolutely, Adam. Thanks for all that you do for the small business community. You are listening to the Get Down to Business radio show. You can join me for breakfast and networking at MB Financial Bank in Morton Grove on July 8th. Find out more information on that event and so many other great small business resources like Adam Fridman's Meet Advisors in Mably.com at my website, ShalomKlein.com. The time to register for that July 8th event is now. And remember, you can connect with me on Twitter at Shalom Klein. After the break, we're talking more small business on Get Down to Business with Shalom Klein. <laughs> 